Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome any new viewers. So like always, if you follow me on social media, which links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. And I am super excited to do this project. I saw a version of it at Hobby Lobby, so, and I thought it was absolutely cute and I can't wait to start it. Actually, I think it was Michael's, not Hobby Lobby, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. But I wanted to make my own version of it, and so I can't wait to jump in and show you how to do it. So we're going to get started on me showing you what is needed for today's project. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is a Christmas tree, wooden Christmas tree. I got this at Michael's because that's where I was. It was half, it was about half off. I paid about $4 for it, maybe a little bit more. So... You could check out Dollar Tree or somewhere else. It does not need to be this thick. But this is what I had, so this is what I'm working with. So you're gonna need that. You're gonna need some green paint, and I am using Grotto from Folk Art chalk paint. So I'm using that color. You're gonna need a paintbrush to paint with. So you're gonna need some twine. I was hoping for thicker than this, but this is what I had, so this is what I'm working with. You're going to need some Christmas beads, wooden Christmas beads, and of course you'll need a drill. So we're going to go ahead and start the project, but right before we start, I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to do the drilling off camera, and I'm just going to show you what it's like, what it's supposed to be like on camera. Alright. Alright y'all, as y'all can see, I tried, to do, I tried to drill the holes where it would look like a garland's actually going around the tree and I only did six if you want to add more you can but that's good enough for me so the next step we're going to do is we're going to be painting the tree I'm just going to do a full coat of green if you want to you can always add your brown here but this is just basically the you know sorry make it appear like a tree. It doesn't have to look exactly like a tree, so I'm just going to do a coat of green. I'm not going to get all into the different stuff, so and I'm going to paint the whole thing green. Top, sides, back. Now if you use a thinner piece of wood that I got because like I said this is what I found you can add a hole up here at the very top to tie ribbon or more twine to make a loop to hang it but this should stand up on its own with how thick it is so, and if you want to do like I'm doing but you don't have it as thick you can add a tower block to the back or at least a tower block or um more than that to help it stand I actually have a video I will put in my description it's a Mother's Day video but it shows the way I made use tower blocks to make a stand for a, an object so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna paint the whole thing and then we will move on to the next one but just remember, you are the creative one. If you don't want a green tree, you could paint it whatever color you want. This is the color I chose. So just remember that when you're doing this. You do not have to pick the same thing I'm doing. All right, so. All right, y'all, I didn't like how small the holes were, so I went back and made the holes bigger. And it just dry, so we're going to move on. Now, the one I saw at the store was one you hang so it was only one sided but sorry let me fix this but mine's not gonna be hanging so like I said I don't so instead of it being one side I'm sorry I can't even talk what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do both sides That is the plan. I'm 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take this twine and we're just going to put some beads on it that are Christmassy. Give me a second now. We're just putting a few. We don't need many. What we're trying to do here is make it like it's a garland. Oh, hold on a second. Just to let you know, if you come across one that the hole is too small, they have bead reamers that'll make the hole bigger. So, that's all you gotta do. So I'm just doing it a certain way. My red bead, my red wooden beads are smaller than some of the others, so I'm gonna use it to make like a decoration. Put it in between the beads, like that. So, give me a second, y'all. Give me a second. Okay. So then you're gonna thread this through here. And if I don't like the size, I will make it bigger. Yeah, I'm just not liking the size. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't get too small. I mean, I'm trying to make sure it's easy to get through. Give me a second. All right, sorry about that. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna go through here. And what I did was I didn't make the hole bigger and I used my bead reamer just in case it didn't wanna do what I wanted it to do. So like I said, I'm gonna do both sides. This is not a requirement. You can easily do just the one side if you're hanging it. No, oh, those are not right. I got confused for a second there. But I'm technically not hanging it. I'm going to be putting it standing up on the table. So that's why I'm doing it this way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it. If you don't do it this way, if you do it the other way where you just do one side, you can tie knots. Give me a second. On the back part of each hole, but because I want to do it this way, I can't do that because then it wouldn't work. So, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue just so the knot doesn't come undone. So, and that's what I'm doing so far. And I'm going to do that for each piece, y'all. Each piece. So, I put a little hot glue on the twine because it comes undone and then I just roll it 
And now I'm going to start my next group of beads. I'm going to do this. Now I don't want that. Give me. I'm going to do the snowman. I'm trying to do what I think will look good together. I don't want to do on top of each other green, green, you know? So. Again, just push it through. Oh well, I did it backwards, but it's fine. You kind of want to. No, I did it right. It's back here. Sorry, I got confused for a second there. You want to keep the tie on the same side. So, if you do do it this way, that's just a hint. Okay, so, go back through to the other side. And there's ways to get around it if you if it doesn't want to go, I have a Cricut pick that I can use to help push it through. And there it is. I had a dumb blind moment. As you can see, you're going to need more than three on this one. I'm sorry. Let me redo this. I don't know what I was thinking. That was stupid. I was just getting excited. I was like, oh, it's working. Yay. And completely forgetting you're going to need more than three. So, I think five for this one. So, you just go and you pick more beads. And remember, I'm putting the skinnier ones in between the bigger beads. I'm putting the smaller beads in between the bigger beads. Sorry about that, y'all. Completely forgot what I was doing. Just, I don't want to tear up my twine, so I'm trying to be careful with it. There we go. I felt it. <laughs> Alright. So, as you can see, five works. So now we're going to do this side and try to remember what I'm doing. rolling away. That, that's three. Um, let's do an actual Christmas tree bead. I'm just trying to make this look as nice as I can without doing too much of the same stuff if that makes any sense. Because I could technically repeat the pattern on both sides, but I wanted it to look a little different on each side. I didn't want the same. So, go a little 
little bit more. And then we're just going to tie it again. And if it hangs a little, it's not a big deal. You know, garland does tend to hang at times, so you don't have to do it tight as can be. There we go. And again, I'm going to cut. And add some more of my hot glue. So that's two down and now we're going to move on to the last one. I think this is a cool project you can do with your kids or just to give to someone for Christmas. So. Mm. This side, yes. So I'm going to do red this time. I don't need these black ones. And I know I'm putting a red bead with the red, but it's fine. Oopsie, running away. gnome on there. What do y'all think? And get it in there. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm going to go through here like always. Oh look how easy that was. Why can't they all be that easy, right? And let's see if five's enough. I think we need to do six. So that's how you tell. So we're gonna do another bead. Let's see what I got. I pretty much put that one on there. I might not have. Ooh! No. We're gonna do that on the other side. We'll do a green one. I got a gingerbread. So we'll do the green one on this side with the red. All right, so that's done. Now we're gonna go back through, like I said. Look how easy that was. All right, so we're gonna pull it and we're gonna do the black plaid because we don't have that on this side. We're going to do the red deer. And like I said, you want to make sure you get it where it's pretty much facing up when you're standing it because of the way you're doing it. So don't forget that. So we're going to do another black plaid. the hole. Remember, bead reamers, and I just twist it till it goes all the way through. But bead reamers definitely help you get the hole big enough to put your stuff through. Just be careful. So then we're going to do the gingerbread man, like I said. And then, let's see, what do I want to do? I have a, what do I have, I did a, ooh, I got this, I didn't put this anywhere, so we'll do that, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and did I screw up on this side, no, I did it right, so, it's seven beads, not six, apparently I can't count. But the important, the important thing is I did it right. So two, four, six, seven. So you see two, four, six, seven. And then of course, again, we're gonna go through. 
Look how easy that one was. Why weren't they all that easy, right? Pull and tie. Look how super easy this project was to do. I'm almost done. And if you want one like I'm doing, you can always find something to put on top, like a star or something. But I'm not doing that. That would just be an extra. Do that. And look at that. Look how cute that is, y'all. I think this came out really good. I am so happy with it. It's absolutely adorable. And I can't wait to put it out for Christmas time. So that is it for today's project. I absolutely loved making it. I had so much fun. And if y'all liked it, please, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Because it helps my channel grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.